Hey, my final project for AP Chemistry is anodizing aluminum. Anodizing is an electrochemical process that thickens and toughens the naturally occurring protective oxide layer of aluminum. Depending on the process, the resulting finish is one of the hardest substances known to man. The coating is 30% thicker than the metal it replaces, and this can increase the lifespan of the part by up to 50 years in some cases. Anodizing is most commonly used to increase the lifespan of parts that are in applications that require wear resistance. It is also more than likely that the aluminum you interact with in your daily life has been anodized. My first step in the experiment was to degrease my aluminum part. I did this to remove the dirt off my part. First, I sanded my part down using 300 grit sandpaper. Then I cleaned the part using isopropyl alcohol. Afterward, I linked up the sacrificial cathode and anode to the power supply. I chose to use an aluminum cathode instead of lead because lead is poisonous and the robotics machine shop has plenty of scrap aluminum. I placed the cathode and anode in the beaker with a 2 molar sulfuric acid. According to Caswell's anodizing calculator site, 7.7 volts is required for one hour to build an oxide layer thick enough for our purposes. After letting the reaction occur for about an hour, I put the part in dye at around 60 degrees celsius. The anodizing process creates a negatively charged porous oxide layer. The positively charged dye flows into these pores, which is what gives the oxide layer the color of the dye. According to this video by Shoplift on YouTube, Grit dye works decently well, while Caswell's official anodizing dye works perfectly, but this is also double the price. After about 45 minutes of letting the part sit in the dye, I transfer the part to a beaker of boiling water. The boiling water closes the pores in the anodic film, giving a surface resistant to staining, abrasion, crazing, and color degradation. After about 15 minutes, the part is done anodizing. Here is the part before it went through the anodization process. And here is the part now. As you can see, there are some imperfections in the finish. The bubbles are there because I left the part in boiling water for too long. Anodizing isn't just for practical purposes. Many hobbyists anodize because you can use any dye to color your aluminum. FRC Team 118 is a great example of this. Here is their 2022 robot. And all the aluminum you see on here has been anodized. Anodizing is always finding new avenues to be useful in. Here is an article detailing the use of a multi-scale anodized aluminum oxide nanowire structure. Isn't that cool? Please keep in mind that sulfuric acid is very dangerous and corrosive. Breathing in the fumes of sulfuric acid can damage your lungs, so you should always work in well-ventilated areas.